tank's supposed to be smoking hot, 30 degrees Celsius, 90 something Fahrenheit. We're out on uh, Clearwater Lake and we're heading up to see a castle, a castle in northwestern Ontario. So, we've got a couple of companions here and we're going to head up that way. We're going over to a portage and then up uh, White Otter Lake. Just heading across uh, Clearwater Lake here. Gets its name because it's uh, very clear water. Lots of good fishing to be had here, apparently. Well, we're just heading up here. See an old building that was built in uh, 1914, I believe. It's called the Castle of the North. We'll go check it out. Alright, this is a uh, portage here. We get a uh, trip across, had to pay for it of course. Pretty sweet, you don't even have to get out of the boat. Yeah, 2003, Dustin and I had to drag the boat across this, <laughs> carry the motor. Boundary, Turtle River, White Otter Lake Provincial Park. White Otter Lake. It's deep real quick. <laughs> right on, thanks man. No problem, have a safe trip. Thanks. All right, we're launched. This is what they call the Castle of White Otter Lake, or the White Otter Castle. Built uh, 1914 or before that by Jimmy McQuaid. All right, we made it. White Otter Castle, the log building, four stories on the tower. This is the grave site. Jimmy McQuaid is buried there. Apparently he drowned while fetching fishing nets one spring. This is the interpretive site. It's one of the old alligator boats on uh, Turtle Lake. It's all collapsed down now. Some of the old restoration. Jimmy McQuaid, born 1855, died October 1918. Four years after he built this. Let's give you a little bit of an explanation here. Completed his house in 1915 when he was 60 years old. I 
This is an old section of uh, what I think is the old ranger cabin. There used to be an old ranger cabin here. They built it uh, after his death. They used some of the timbers from the original part of the cabin. And then uh, the ministry burned it down. I'm not sure when. 84 maybe or something like that or earlier. All these corners, although you can't see it, are all dovetailed. Yeah, you can just see it a bit in the corner here. That takes a lot of skill and a lot of time to dovetail logs like that. I'm going to take a walk inside. All right, this is the bottom of the tower. We'll go up there in a minute. Lots of people have signed their names, tagged everything, of course. Back in the 50s, it was in dire need. They did a little restoration on it. Uh, 1992, they did another restoration on it. Apparently, they're going to do another restoration on it soon. They got to make some money, though. I was here in 2003, and it looked all these timbers were pretty new. You can still see the difference between the old and newer. Still looks in pretty good shape though. There's the floor plans. Tower. This is the third, third level, third floor. Kind of strange how he made this part, but <laughs> there's a shot when it was in dire need. Prior to emergency restoration in the 1950s, after 50, they did a partial restoration. 1980s before the. 92 restoration. That's a picture of the man himself who built this all by himself.
kind of just like a loft area, third floor. Head up here to the top of the tower. Need a couple little shingles on top. Four stories down. Nice view of the lake. That's the grave down there. A nice balcony. Second floor, bedroom is back over there. So this was apparently the bedroom. Yeah, here you can see all the dovetail joints. How they were made, angles, 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 lock angles. Very cool. Go down to the main floor. Shaped the same as the second floor. Nice deck here. <laughs> Apparently people can't read, please no graffiti in the castle. At least in the logbook. I didn't see a logbook, but I sure see a lot of graffiti. Every square inch of this place is tagged. Not sure why people feel the need to do that. So this is the White Otter Castle, or the Castle of the North, or the Castle of White Otter Lake. Heading back across. <laughs> 